Hey guys, it's Alyssa, and I am here for my first story time video. Um, for a first story time video, I think it's pretty freaking great. Um, this story time video actually happened to me on Sunday at Walmart. I don't know of any story time that's not awesome that doesn't start with Walmart. Anyways, uh, in my hometown, uh, there is a Facebook page uh, that is geared towards the um, classless, the trashy, the um, tweak twackers, as I like to call them, um, the awesome license plates, the people who drive cars that probably should not with way too much duct tape or way too many things in the back of their truck. I am, however, very uh, thankful and lucky that my encounter did not end up on that Facebook page. So Sunday, my husband and I went to the Southside Walmart, which, as everyone um, in my hometown knows, that the Southside Walmart and um, another Walmart are very diverse um, when it comes to customers and ethnicities um, and culture and things like that. Um, mind you, I came from not really like a small town, but a town where we were populated by um, mostly white people. Um, I'm not racist, so let's just, oop, uh, make sure that that's very clear. It just was. It was predominantly white. Um, I mean, in my high school, I think, um, the ratio between, um, ethnic and, uh, white students, I don't really know how you want to put that. That's probably not politically correct, but... Um, was like 5%. Um, it's definitely grown and it's bigger um, now and it's a lot more diverse um, than it was back when I was in high school. So, <laughs> my husband and I ran to Walmart on Sunday. We just needed a couple things. The usual toilet paper, dog food, um, we needed some stuff for our rug doctor to clean the our carpet. It's like just a normal Sunday fun day with my husband. Like should have been a freaking normal Sunday fun day. Like what the hell. So anyways, my husband is a Green Bay Packer fan. I'm a Bears fan and I'm sure that um, when some of you see this you're gonna be like, whoa. You're a Bears fan. <laughs> yeah, I'm a Bears fan. Like, Jay Keller's just terrible as shit. That's how I feel. So, anyways, he's a Packers fan. So we were walking down just a random aisle, and there were these sandals, Green Bay Packers sandals. You know, and I showed them to my husband, and but they were the wrong size. So I was like, you know, let's just go to the shoe aisle. Let's see if they have different ones. Oh, excuse me, or different sizes or whatever. And if you like them, we'll get them. So the first problem that I personally encounter, um, my husband walks down one of the shoe aisles and in the, the aisle next to us, at the end of it, you see a teenage boy with his hand gripping the clothing of a little girl it's probably three, I would assume. She's probably three, maybe four. And this little girl, he's like dragging her. Like as if she ran away and she was being super naughty and whatever. Well, the little girl's screaming. So that's like my first what the fuck moment. I'm not a fan. I, I like, I don't, well, I don't understand. A, where's your mother or your father or whoever the brought you here. Second of all, uh, if you don't want attention to yourself, you probably shouldn't be dragging um, a small child away with you. Just saying. Sorry for that brief pause. 
So, we look at the sandals. He doesn't really like them. Um, not a big deal. So, we're leaving the shoe aisle. And when we do, you hear, anybody got a knife? Like, loud as fuck. Like, so loud. Like, I literally was like, what? For real? As you're holding a freaking pair of shoes, like you're going to cut them off and stick them in your purse and walk out the door? For real? So we go past White Trash Lady, because that's what we'll call her. And as we're walking out of the aisle, I kind of like, I'm, like have my eye on her, because I'm like so baffled by the ignorance. That... The next thing I hear from her... Mind you, this is not the exact quote because I was so mind-fucked by the next sentence out of her fucking ratchet-ass face to the effect of, why don't you take your Middle Eastern self back to where you came from? We only want Christians here. The fuck? The fuck. Okay, sorry for the obnoxious ass pauses in between these. My camera on my phone is being retarded. Anyways, so as I'm looking over, so baffled by the ignorant ass comment that came out of her face, I'm like, who the fuck are you talking to, first of all? And it then re dawns on me. As this poor woman, who's Middle Eastern with a very beautiful teal head head wrap. I'm sorry, I don't know what they're called. If you don't leave me in the comments what they're called, that's that would be great because I don't know. It's beautiful. She's beautiful. She has like a maybe one one and a half year old beautiful little girl in her car. And I then realized that this woman who was literally just shopping and minding her own business was literally like racial shit was just fucking spewed to her from this white trash hillbilly who I don't even know so we leave the aisle I'm like so infuriated I don't even know what to do with myself so I stop someone who works at Walmart and I'm like there is a woman in the shoe aisle saying racial shit to people who are doing nothing. And you might want to go get her before she gets a freaking face beaten. Like, what do you mean? So, <clears throat> to make this story time short, we go to the aisle where we think the rug doctor stuff is. Here she comes. She walks by. The three teenage wo teenagers walk by. And then here comes the little girl. Now, mind you, at this point, I realize the little girl has special needs. She hits me. I look at my husband. My husband looks at me, and he's like, did she hit you? And I said, yep, she did, but she's perfectly fine. Not a big deal. It's fine, babe. Not a big deal. Because white trash is not paying two fucks of attention. Anyway, so at this point, like, my cupeth done runneth over. Like, you're spouting racial shit. Your son is dragging this um, little girl down the freaking aisles. Um, now, this little girl, because you apparently were raised by wolves or farm animals, has now hit a freaking stranger. So, I lost my shit. And I lost my shit... To the point, I can't even, I can't even completely remember what I said to her. But I'm one of those people where, like, I will say what I think, and then I'm done. And I can walk away, and it's fine, it's not a big deal. However, do not, as my husband and I say, and they're like... Uh, don't poke the bear. Don't do that. Just not a good idea. Do not in any way, shape, or form poke the freaking bear. So, 
I said what I had to say in her direction. And I walked away. This, my friends, on YouTube is where it gets fun. So, prior to Hillbilly Deluxe coming down the same Effie Nile that we were in, I had um, ran into a co-worker of mine. Uh, and he was with his wife and his two kids. So, prior to this, I was kind of talking to them. Well, yep. So... After I say what I need to say to her, I'm done. Leave it alone. I do not want to be that person that is, like, causing a freaking scene in the middle of Walmart and pe other people get involved. Like, I, that, that was not my goal, and it turned into way more than I wanted it to, which was half the reason why I walked away to begin with. She proceeds to say... Oh, so you're going to turn your back and walk away from me? B bitch, what? So at that point, like, Psycho Sally came out. Great. Awesome. Yep, Psycho Sally. I literally, I guarantee you I could have made a child rich if you were like, Oh, if I have a dollar for every F word that, she, that she's about to say... Because I literally lost my shit. Like, I literally told her, why don't you find a fucking country that will accept you? Because we will not hear. With your motherfucking racist shit. Why would you do that? Like, why... Why would you feel that while someone is minding their business, not provoking you, not doing anything shady or shitty or being racist to you like why would you do that not only that my husband is white so as i like go psycho sally sandy whatever he goes like psycho sam like he jets down the aisle at her and he is like in this altercation with her she she at one point my friends told him to bleach his skin and he's fucking white yes so, not only that, there is a woman at the end of the aisle who has no idea what's going on, who's like, be an adult. Be an adult. Knock it off. Like, mind your damn business, sweet pea. So, anyways, I now understand why there are other countries that do not like Americans. Because of white trash people like that who say racist shit for no freaking reason and is absolutely uncalled for and honestly i'm so proud oh my hand like i'm so proud that the one time in public that i went crazy psycho screaming like an idiot was for a reason like you don't like it here go somewhere else or keep your opinions to yourself like that's ridiculous